Hi, it's T with T Quotes, and today is June 2nd, 2020, and I'm coming today to show you a couple of customer quotes before I return them. I will be adding on to this video throughout the month of anything that I work on, so it will be little snippets of various works in progress. So let's get started, guys. showing you a close-up of the Bears Paul quilt top that I got from my customer and it's very beautiful she picked the Baptist fan as her quilting design gives it some texture but doesn't take away from the overall quilting on the quilt I think she made an excellent choice and I am going to back up and then you will also see a little sneak of the second quilt they're actually both the same but I just thought that I would share the one first and then we'll come over here and you can see a picture of the second one. She chose the exact same quilting design so you can see that up close. <laughs> but yes, very nice design. Um, very happy with these twin looking quilts. So these quilt tops belong to Peggy O'Connor she supports me in a lot of different ways she's a member of my large quilting guild she's also a member of my scrap quilting club she is a youtube subscriber active youtube subscriber and she also uses me for long arm quilting so i appreciate you peggy thank you so much and i hope you enjoy your quilts when you get them back and uh one other thing uh, peggy also pays me to trim her quilts she just rather be ready to go ahead and put binding on them when she receives them back from me so that's why these quilts are trimmed and you don't see the extra backing and batting on these particular quilts so that's it for this segment i'll see you in the next portion of the video it's Kate with tea quilts and i'm here on june 13th to show you a customer's quilt that i just finished quilting and i will be handing it over to her early next week so I wanted to get this recorded so it's going to be an addendum onto a previous session that I did as well as it probably will be more added after this session so I am having issues um, with getting this quilt to show where it's no shade so up in the top corner you can see where I have the shadow of the barbecue pit and that's this is going to be the best picture that I can get for you all today um, I will take a photo and perhaps put over this so that you don't have to look at this the entire time but I had to lay this one flat on my deck instead of having it on hanging over my deck because of the Sun shadows was too harsh and you couldn't see any of the actual design of the quilt top so let me show you this quilt a little bit And this is actually a new customer's quilt. And I think it's one of her earlier projects as well. I don't know if it's actually her first quilt, but I know if it isn't, it's a early on project for her. So this is pretty cool. I like uh, sampler quilts. And that's gonna be it for this part. I'll see you in the next segment. <laughs> Hi guys, it's T, and today is Tuesday, June 16th, and I'm here to show you another customer's quilt. I actually dropped off the boutique sampler quilt that I showed you in the previous clip, and she gave me another quilt. It's the Farm Girl quilt, so I thought I would share it with you before I return it to her. So guys, today I am actually holding the camera just so 
I didn't have to bring the whole tripod situation out for one quilt, so please bear with me here. Um, I just wanted to show you this Farm Girl quilt made by same customer that did the Batik sampler. Quilting is a very airy kind of sunflower-ish panto. It's got some leaves in it as well. Uh, of course, quilted on the butler. Edge to edge panto. I didn't have to do any top and bottom crops with this panto. It, uh, it's very nice. So, that's it for this. Hopefully, I'll be back with some other finishes of my own this month. Or hopefully at least one <laughs> uh, I got a lot to do I'm doing a commission quilt for somebody Tea quilts and today is Monday June 29th and I'm recording my completed projects for the month of June I do know that I have another day that I could work but I decided to go ahead and do the recording today also during this month I had a two-week t-shirt sale and I sold about 35 shirts various different kinds this is one of the new styles that I presented and I don't have pictures of every shirt that I sent out, so this is just gonna have to do for this portion. I also made mask, and I'll put a picture up here just so you can see that I made another nine masks, but I think the picture is only showing eight masks. I also started working with Guiling Fitzgeralds. She's doing her trash to treasure pineapple blocks. And for the month of June, every day you were to make one block a month. I decided, I think I started a couple days late, like this first Saturday in June is when I started. And then I decided I wanted 48 blocks. I should have already inserted a picture by now showing you the 48 blocks laid out. I'm not sure how I want to set them yet. And yeah, it's just laying on a piece of vinyl flannel back tablecloth so that's why I can't have it up here in this rotation all right so let's go ahead and start with the first quilt here we've got this quilt here that's by Dee Dee Hansen she is one of my YouTube subscribers she sent me her quilt and I am actually quilting it for her. This quilt pattern is the rail fence project that I showed you from a jelly roll. And I'll put a link to it at the eye above as well. But very pretty. I sent her some designs and she picked her own design. And by now I can't remember what the name of this quilting panto is. It's very pretty she actually used this fabric here for her backing and the next quilt here is my pineapple quilt that I did as a sew along during quarantine done this back in either March or April I can look at the label when we get up close and let you know on the back but I decided to do something a little different with this one it was that I had a panto that actually had a pictorial pineapple I actually got this from Ann Bright Designs and I think it is just called pineapples so you can kind of see it in my border there but I will also let you sit on the back it's just plain muslin so let's go get a close-up <clears throat> so this is the quilting you can't hardly see the pan the pineapples unless you see it in the border peeking out then on the back of this quilt I actually put pineapple quilt number one because I'm making more than one right now 
and I actually started at 411 and finished it on 615 and for the quilting let's see I can't hardly show you quilting on the back people want to see the back of the quilts but it's very difficult to show just not as bright as an overcast day as well so that's the pineapple number one quilt the next quilt is this mini quilt that a friend of mine wants for her grandchild I just decided to charge her for supplies only and for me machine quilting it because <laughs> it was a nightmare to machine quilt because I had to skip over all of the mini head appliques and uh, I do have to do some cleaning off of threads you know anytime you use black you do see every piece of thread on the quilt so let's go up close and see what we got on this quilt as I said, you can see the strings that are on here. It's gotta be, I gotta use my lint roller before I put it up. But I just make that my last step. But I used the popcorn quilting design because it had those big loopy circles or curves and it kind of mimicked the Mickey, the uh, heads on the Mickey or Minnie Mouse. So I thought that would be sufficient. Um, I will show you the label that I also made. This is the label here. And the backing is just a floral print that I had in my stash because I was trying to keep the cost down low as possible. So this is a twin size quilt. It's 64 and a half half by 86 and a half so that's the finished size of that one this is my final quilt that I completed this month uh, I realized that I didn't have but two previous projects done that were mine so I was trying to do another one so on Saturday I made sure I got another quilt quilted so that I could have something else to share with you guys I'm trying to see if I can remember what the panto is and I cannot, <laughs> you know, it's all from the, uh, everything that I quilt is quilted on my butler. So I can't remember all the names of these pant patterns that I have. But I'll give you a close up. It's just a strip quilt made with two and a half inch strips. I made this in 2012, February 1st, 2012 is when I started it. And I just finished this actually today. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, somebody asked me what do you do with quilts where you start them in one year but you don't finish them until five or six years later I always put the start and end date on all of my actual quilts so and again I got um, pieces all over it now the back on this is pretty interesting so let me back up and I'll try to show you what I can uh, it's just one of my piece backs. I have a video on how I make my scrappy backs. So let me just toss this up. And you can see part of it here. But basically I just sew together pieces of fabric, my yardage that I no longer want. And then when I need it, I just have 45 inches wide, say by 10, 12 yards. And I just use that to uh, make my backing. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like some of the projects that I showed you this month and I will see you next time with my completed projects. Bye bye everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye T-Quilters. Stay blessed.